families of the victims of 2011 Uladir, Rabaski, airstrike massacre have demanded that retired COL. I Gun Iker provide testimony in the case after the soldier said he had warned his superiors that the targets were civilians, not outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, members. Tahir Elsi, a lawyer for the victims' families, told her yet that Iker's testimony, which was reported by Daily Miliat on February 16, could change the fate of the lawsuit. With this statement, it became obvious that the right to live was violated in Uladir, he said. We will demand from the military prosecutor's office to hand us this file, which has seen a confidentiality order. We will submit COL. Eker's testimony to the Constitutional Court, he said. The massacre took place December 28, 2011, when the Turkish army carried out airstrikes in the village of Ortashu, Rabaski in Kurdish, near the Turkish-Iraqi border, killing 34 people, most of whom were children and youth. The General Staff's Prosecutor's Office in January 2014 dismissed the investigation into the massacre, saying in its ruling military officers had made an inevitable mistake while performing their duty. The families applied to the Constitution Court in June 2014. Miliat reported February 16 that Eker's testimony was not included in an army filing to the court. Miliat reported January 17 that military minutes of the attack day proved that soldiers raised questions that the group entering Turkey via Iraq might be smugglers, matching Eker's remarks. The paper printed the quotes from the minutes, which largely consist of phone calls between military offices. Eker, who was a military intelligence officer at the time and was in a group that evaluated the unmanned aerial vehicle footage of the group, said his superior, Brig. Gen. Halil Urkek, agreed with his conclusion but that core CMDR. YLDRM Govan said the men were PKK members, ordering artillery fire. They concluded that the PKK was active in the region and that the group might be acting under the knowledge of the PKK and might also include some of its members, Eker said. Says Jintan Rikolu, a deputy leader of the main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP asked Prime Minister Ahmed Davutoglu in a parliamentary question why Eker's testimony was disregarded. Was the real aim of this operation to send a message to the people in the region, he asked. 